Hello, I'm Aubrey Shepard on the 16th of May 2016. And let's see some photos from Nettleship, uh, a street that runs east and west, or runs, e, or runs west from the university if you're down there on Razorback Road. Anyhow, a, couple, a year or two ago, they cleared a bunch of trees and there was a big fuss about it. And, now something new has been approved, and looking at the paperwork, you'll see that it uh, was approved for grading. But I didn't find much of a report from the urban forester because, uh, and there's the gentleman that was out there when I was taking these pictures, Jonathan Ely. He's a development and construction manager for the engineering department at the city of Fayetteville. But anyway, here's muddy water. You can see a, a line on either side of that uh, flow area. It's muddy. The water coming out from the left there uh, at the top of the picture this time. That's clear. That's off university property nearby. But this water is several blocks away from Nettleship area where the trees were removed. But uh, it's, you know, it's legal. And uh, even though we have tree ordinance and watershed protection ordinance and hillside ordinance, those trees were not protected because the land is going to be broken up into uh, single lots, single family homes, I guess. But anyway, uh, if it had been a certain kind of uh, PCD or something like that, there have been more trees required to be kept. And you can see the size of trees in the background there, the part that's not uh, been attacked yet. And you can see the hill up the hill uh, toward what we're, we call Markham Hill would be in the background of this. And you can see the mud there, but uh, the uh, degree of muddiness is not really shown from these pictures. This was several hours after the rain had ended and the, the runoff was much less than it was earlier. So a neighbor of this property had uh, come representing some other neighbors. They were all excited about it. And, he had uh, been down to the city and reported this muddy runoff, and that's why Mr. Ely was out there uh, looking at it. But, you know, there's nothing can be done now. Um, you can't, uh... <clears throat> well, if, in some circumstances, if somebody, you know, had cleared it with, without going through the city process, or if they violate the process in doing what they're doing here, uh, they would have to wait five years before they would be allowed to build anything on that land. But uh, I don't think that's the case here. I mean, the permit allows grading, and if you, the, you can see water coming from up the hill, clean water in, onto this property up there. I love my zoom lens. I can get out there and see things, and it's just, don't have to wait in the mud to go look at them. That's a nice thing. But anyway, Mr. Ely was checking it out, and I'm sure he uh, required them to do some more, make some more effort to uh, reduce the flow of water leaving there uncleansed. But uh, this is right off of the property where water comes out down there, and you can see water roll pouring off that uh, nettleship area and running across the parking lot there. And of course, you can see a little bit of how muddy it was. Till next time, Sir Robert Shepard asks you to do your part to help keep the water clean, the air pure, and the woods green. See ya. Hello, I'm Aubrey Shepard again on the 16th of uh, May, 2016. We're looking at a tiny yellow flower so small it fits between my fingers pretty well there. And now I'm at Ron Butler's house. It's uh, That's Ron in the blue shirt, and that's Ron's wife. 
And the story with them is that they uh, would school together, I believe Michigan, anyway, uh, many, many, many years ago, and they just recently got married again. And he's the uh, leader of the Regional National Cemetery Improvement Corporation. And she actually cooked something almost that good to bring to our regular meetings, and we had the meeting at their house this time. There's Dick Bennett and Joe Bennett and uh, Carol Griffith right in that picture. And here's Lowell Grisham and Steve Smith, a journalism professor at the university and a very good person. And here is a group of the same, some of the same people. Here is uh, Joe Ru John Rule, who's not here with me this afternoon. He had had some dental surgery and probably didn't feel like sitting down and talking. And that is Larry Woodall's wife, Sherry Faubus, and this was a celebration of, of uh, Larry Woodall's life that Sherry uh, got done, and you see some other people who, like Larry, were writers uh, in the uh, rapid writers, rapid response writers, a few years ago in Fayetteville during several years of uh, political turmoil in the United States and even locally. Okay, milkweed, this is the Asclepius purpurescens. This is a beautiful spring blooming reddish milkweed, but it's purple milkweed it's called. And this is the Asclepius viridis, another spring blooming milkweed. And it's maybe the most common in the area, but it's not called common milkweed. But we'll show you a picture next, well, in a minute, of what is called common milkweed. This is eastern gamma grass at World Peace Well and Prairie. And now here is the common milkweed. It's Sclepius. Syriaca, and it neither, neither of these uh, two of these two of the other three milkweeds had not opened their flowers yet. They were just ready to bloom, and they will be. But the main thing is the foliage is up, and the flowers are coming. You'll see a lot of pollinators, a lot of species of butterflies, not just the monarchs, which lay their eggs on various species of of monarchs, I mean, milkweed. <clears throat> and we look forward to a big group of those being here this year. Omni's Peace Garden Tour is Saturday, May 28th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Everybody's welcome. Uh, there is a, a donation, uh, like a lot of things. And uh, if you go to World Peace Wetland Prairie first, you can you can buy a ticket there, but you don't have to buy a ticket there because you don't have to have a ticket at that public park. Until next time, this is Arbor Sherman asking you to do your part to help keep the water clean, the air pure, and the woods green. See ya.